What's going on, guys? So this is my randomizer match. Uh, I just entered the randomizer tournament, and um, this is the group stages. So how it works is like all the runners are separated up into group matches, and you have to face off everyone in your group. You have to do two matches. The person with the most wins, or sorry, the two people with the most wins, and I guess the highest time, uh, move on to the bracket, and then the tournament officially starts with the bracket. So, um, this is my race. It's me against Jay Cooper and it's Shark Kid versus Stewie Cartman. And we started a bit early. Now we actually have the official uh, screen going on. So you can see I am in the bottom left. Um, I'm the yellow and I'm going up against to my right, which is Jay Cooper. And then Stewie in the top versus Shark Kid. They're just doing a four way. They're just doing a four way round. Ooh, and Jay Cooper takes a death. So I already did this race, and I'm actually going to watch the playback of it and hang out with you guys and talk to you all about it because last time I was in the randomized tournament, we got a lot of complaints about the commentators. Now, I haven't listened or heard any of the commentators, but I just want to go out there and say that I guess I'm just going to have to rewatch every race, do commentary, put it on YouTube so you guys can get my true feel of the race. So I do remember this race. I remember it started with a wall jump. And I frigged up really bad there. Um, I didn't wall jump first try, which kind of sucked. Um, yeah, so it looked like Jay Cooper had a lot of issues uh, with, with his level. I guess he wasn't comfortable with wall jumping. Okay, I get my H jump. Ooh, Shark Kid takes the death. And just a, just a reminder... Um, we're all playing on the same seed, but it's Shark Kid versus Stewie and me versus Jay Cooper. Oh, and you're wondering what that music is. We're just listening to some Nintendo Mario music while we're hanging out watching the rando. This is my first match of the tournament. I'm um, getting myself right back into randomizer. I got one cycle in the fortress. That makes me happy. Uh, so there might be a lot of questions that people have. Uh, what is randomizer? Well, all the world's music colors, enemies, pipes, items, they're all randomized. So uh, you don't know what level you're going to get. You have no idea what world you're going to go into next. You have no idea what enemies are going to be what. Um, you have no idea. Did I already say what items are going to be in the block? Like you don't know if you're going to get a mushroom or if you're going to get a star. Uh, the spade card games, they're all random. You never know if you're going to get a hammer. You might not even get any clouds. You never know. And it looks like me and Jay Cooper ended up lining back up here. How the heck did that work? Uh, it's it's very interesting to watch to see how things turned out. Okay, so I had already done the Ford. There you go. Yeah, so I'm on my way out of there. Ooh, Jay Cooper got stuck on the island. I think I saw that island too. Yep. And I have one star. We just got a star from that, so I'm going to use that star. And the, the item we get from the Piranha Plant is random as well, so... Uh, this is cool to see. I mean, I already know the stats of the race, but it is very cool to see, and I can give you guys my opinion on how things happened and how I felt about it. I know something happened in this race. I can tell you that. So we want to do a big jump there on the airship because if you can get the wall jump, it's faster than this whole little ordeal going under and wrapping around. Also, in case you didn't notice, the auto scrollers are removed in in this, as you can see, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I definitely waited there because I didn't know when or if he's going to jump. And randomizer, you have no idea what your boss patterns are going to be. So being aggressive on the bosses is somewhat not a good idea. Jay Cooper did a pretty good strat there by waiting it out so he can... There you go. Yeah, see, that's smart. That was smart of him. That was a good strat. Looks like Stewie is ahead of Shark Kid right now. And I am the first one out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what world is next? I cannot, I can't remember the orders of worlds and stuff like that. Okay, world five. And the best thing is like, look at the lock, right? The lock and the fortress all over the place. Uh, that's something that you really want to see at the start of world five is a fortress and a lock blocking your path because it's, it almost makes it like it's going to be a pretty easy and narrow world five, right?
All right. Do 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 do. All right. So I finished up. So that has to break that lock. Yeah, because there's no pipe on the other side, right? So I have to take the Twisty Castle. Which looks pretty good because there's going to be... there. You can tell just by looking at the overworld that there is going to be... Um, pipes in the sky because there's no pipe transitions here. And you know that World 5 has pipes. So that's something you can think about. Like, while I'm doing this level, I'm like, okay, I know there's pipes in the sky. Right? You really have to, like, focus and pay attention to, like, what the heck you're doing. It's crazy. It is so crazy. Oof, yeah, this uh, twisty castle is very slow. Alright, alright, we got out of the twisty castle and... Yeah, see? Boom. There we go. Straight to the fortress. That's so easy. So, we know this fortress builds the bridge in the bottom section, but there's nowhere to go in the bottom section, so... You just beat this fortress and the world's over, thank goodness. Whoop! Nice. There are times where you can actually do the level like a normal speed run. Um, it does pose a lot of risks. Like those roto discs, you don't you never know what direction they're gonna go in. So okay, we got Shark Kid doing the spade card game first. Um, and yeah, I go back. So spade card games are not always going to be in the tournament, but they are for this grouping. And spade card games are random, and the items they give you are random. So you could match two mushrooms in the spade card game, and it could give you a cloud, right? And that's what us runners are looking for. We're looking for clouds and hammers. So what you do is you flip over the first four, and then I need to remember star mushroom flower 20. And then next time a spade card game pops up, it sucks because the first spade card game is just a trial. You just flip over. Maybe you get one, maybe you don't. I don't remember seeing that boss bass on my seed. Nice. Okay, we finish up this world. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Very nice. Big, big stomp boy right there. You can see he's thick. He's shaking the ground. But yeah, so we are eight minutes in and we are going on to the third world. That's pretty cool. Nice. Stewie is pretty close behind me. And Jay Cooper is just on the Twisty Castle. So he's about two levels. And I know he's going to check his spade card game. So he is the spade card game behind me. Ooh, does Stu get off screen one grab? No. No off screen one grab. Shark hit in the fortress right before the end. Takes the damage there. Oh, takes a double damage. Oh, might get a death here. If that's a star, that's good. All right, world three. First level is the worst level in the game. This level, really annoying. This level is not only long, but there's so many enemies in this level that when it's randomized, there's crap all over the place. Yep, took damage, not surprised. I, do, I, I decided, you know what, if I'm going to take damage, I'm going to go up this pipe. I'm going to grab this power up. I really need this power up. And then he, like, moved. Oh, man. And then I took damage again. This level. All right, now Stewie's testing his hand. So now I got to go down, and which is, like, the worst thing ever. Because look at this. Look at this crap. Where am I supposed to go? I was so annoyed in Rando for this. This was such dumb crap. Look at all that crap. All right. Get me out of there. If I was racing against Stu, he'd be beating me right now. Now, I know I know a lot of you are saying, well, why aren't you racing against Stu? Like, how are you not officially racing against Stu? Um, and that is because they, Stewie and Shark Kid are in different group matches. Remember, remember I said you were grouped up in fours and you have to face each one of your group members once for two matches and Stu and Shark Kid are a different group but they scheduled at the same time as us so we all might as well do the same seed save some time all right I built my bridge and then I died all of that time 
all of that time. I literally just lost so much time. Oh my goodness. At this point in the race, I thought, I thought I was behind. I was like, I'm losing. I'm losing this race. I literally just lost like two minutes. I cannot believe I died right there. I cannot believe I died right there. That is crazy. I got all this crap. Thank God I have my P-Wing though. I should have just used my P-Wing in the first place. Gave Stu a really good lead on me. Luckily, we're not racing. I'd be losing right now. Jeez. All right, I'm out of there. That was the only thing. And look at how much Jay Cooper caught up, man. Holy crap. Oh, Sharka took a death too. Unfortunate. All right, I'm... Now I, I am 100% in go mode. Yeah, give me this crap. I am in 100% go mode right now. Okay, so I decided to go for this fortress instead of going back and wrapping around the other way. Which, as you can see on Stewie's screen, this is the right thing to do. I didn't take the shortcut because I was already losing. Yep, and I missed that jump. I'm not in a good mood right now. Luckily, it's muted and there's no camera, but I, I'm, I'm handling it okay. I'm not on mega tilt, right? I'm not constantly dying. I'm not tilted. So that's, that's good, right? The worst thing you can do in tournaments and races is go on max tilt. I skipped the spade card game because I feel like, you know what? I've already lost so much time. I'm waiting for the spade card to be in front of me. And it paid off for me. I did get the right fortress. And now I'm not too far behind Stu, so I did catch up a little bit there. I think Stu I think Stewie did a little extra pipe movements and stuff. Jay Cooper is unfortunately falling really far behind. He's having uh he's having a, a lot oh and he took the death. Yeah, he's having a longer level than I did. Yeah, unfortunate. And he's the one I'm up against, so that's that's pretty good for me. The shark kid made it out though, so that's good. Do, 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 do. Yeah, while you guys have time, let me know in the comments below if you enjoy me doing commentary over these races while we just listen to music and you guys can get an understanding of what goes on through my head. Um, I think you guys actually will like this a lot more than uh, random commentators that you don't know, you never heard of, and they could be cringe. I don't know if the last one was cringe, but I'm just going based off of what happened last year, where I had a lot of people on YouTube uh, not like the commentators, and you know what? I don't blame you. If you're going to watch this, you're going to want to enjoy it, right? And there's no way you're not going to enjoy it with me, so strap in. Not strap on. I didn't say strap on. I said strap in. All right, so we're gonna try and go for a really fast World 4. The pipe led us right down there. And as we can see on Stu's screen, this is the right decision. I tried to get P-Speed, but I suck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and live with that. But I feel like I am catching up to Stu a little bit. He is small Mario. All right, Jay Cooper did, unfortunately, looks like he got a game over. And this level is kicking his butt. Okay, so, although it was bad for me, it wasn't that bad. All right, I am now on the airship. Shout out to the Mario 64. Yeah, let's go, Mario 64. Okay, so 
Is this a four hitter? It looked like a four hitter. No off screen wand grab though. Come on, Jay Cooper, you got this. All right, world two is our next world. All right. Nice, Shark Kid made it out of world three. Dude, seven, five. I don't know, seven, four can be bad. All right, we have the lost level here. Okay, let's see. It's Stu decided to do the to do the fortress. I decided to do the first level. And now I'm gonna check the pipe. How did that turn out? You see, this is where randomizer is interesting. Stewie went for the fortress, and it turns out you didn't need the fortress. So, by so what what Stewie did there was logical. That was the right move. You want to do the fortress, but I was behind, so I was like, you know what? The pipe's right there. I can't see any locks. It's easy to go back to the fortress, so I might as well if I need to, and it paid off. Because you'd have to do both of the fortresses to even open that path. Let's see which lock it opens. See, I don't know which one it opened. And for Stu, it only un it only unlocked the first one. So now he's got to go down and around. So that lock was not leaded, lead and I actually caught up there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I am taking the sands because I don't want to die in this level because I feel like I'm already so far behind. So I'm worried. Nice, Jay Cooper made it out. Good for him, man. That level was hell. That level was not fun. Uh, there is gonna be two matches. So after this one, uh, luckily this is on YouTube for you guys. So fast forward right to the second match and you don't have to wait. Lucky you guys, no waiting for you guys. All right. Now, if we had a hammer, that would be crazy. Okay, so do you guys remember what my spade card game matches were? No, you don't. I do remember star though. Star mushroom flower 20. Ah, uh, we know where the 20 is. And we know where the next mushroom is. We look at an inventory, we got a hammer. Ooh, this level is not what you wanna see. Look at this, watch. I can't even, look at this. This is so bad. I can't, I'm pressing B and it's not grabbing it. I'm pressing it. That's so bad. Oh my God. There's too many sprites on the screen. There was no sprite slot, right? If the game can only allow you to have like seven enemies or seven active sprites on screen, well, the ice block counts as an active sprite or block. So if there's already seven as an example, I don't know, then I can't grab it. Really annoying, really frustrating. I was annoyed by that. But I'm not too far behind. Oh, Stu did the hammer, brother, and that gave him the hammer. I didn't know that. Interesting. I don't think I fought him. I did get a hammer from the spade card game, though. See how Stewie was able to? Because he killed his enemies. Uh, do I? Wait. Oh, I do get the hammer. I do get the hammer here. That's right. You want to have you want to have a fire flower. You want to have a fire flower because as soon as you drop the fire flower, you just double shot them. Get those heckers out of there. All right, no clouds yet, but we have hammers. No auto scrollers. Nice shark kid making the ooh gets hit by the ghost in the what is the carpet? What are those, carpets? I don't even know. Okay, so now we have... What world is next? I can't remember what world is next. 
Alright, Jay Cooper in World 4. He's gonna be out of World 4 pretty quick. Oh, the stupid fire bros. Oh, we got a nether frog suit. Alright, World 6. There's nothing going on, so just get through the world. Right? There's no pipes, there's no fortresses, and no locks. So you just try and go the fastest way through the world. Whoa! So this is one of those levels that I was talking about that will allow you to kind of still do the speedrun level, which is kind of nice, because that is a long level. Without speedrunning it, that level can be pretty long. I, I hope Stu gets it off. He's definitely going to go for it. Nice, Stu. Nice. Trust. Trust. He trusted. Very nice on Stu's end. Uh, so I am in a beta stage, so the reason you guys have never seen this stage before is that it's it, it's actually in the game's code, but it was like a beta test stage that they didn't officially use in the game, but they left it in the code, so we're able to access it in Randomizer. It's just a option that you turn on. We call it the Lost Levels because, I mean, the levels are, I guess, lost. Oh, Stewie taking damage. You don't want to take damage there. I mean, I took damage too, so... I'm one to talk, right? Yeah, Mitch, shut the hell up! Oh, Shark Kid taking that death. Alright, I got a juicy marathon. I'm gonna go back to my spade card game. I wanna at least finish it to see if I get a cloud. I know where my 20s are. I don't know where the star in 1-Up is, so I'm gonna keep searching. I know where that star is. I know where that flower is. Yep. I know where that 1-Up is. And I know where that mushroom is, and I finished it. Now, what did I get? I got... I think I got... I got a cloud from the 10 or something. So only having one cloud. I used the hammer right away because I, I think I'm behind. I got a long death. I'm not doing too well. Boom, I get some good information. I'm gonna go back into this pipe. And I know I have to do both of the fortresses. I gotta do both of them because there was a there was a bridge that needed to be built over the water, and there was a lock in front of the castle. So both fortresses are required. So the reason I do a jump turn back there is mainly because if it's a hot foot, you will get screwed over. Okay, Stewie and I are very close into the same spot. Um, because I finished a spade card game, I'm a little bit more frivolous with my damage boosting. I don't mind right now taking damage. And I know I have to go all the way across. I'm using a P-Wing. Again, like I said, I'm not dying on Hammer Brothers, so I don't care. Uh, we're already in World 6, so I'm just burning items, right? I mean, where else am I going to use them? Right, I, I have an extra hammer here. I might as well use it, right? Where else am I going to use it? I think Stu is going to do the same thing. Oh, I hate getting stuck there. All right, I don't think I fought this second hammer, brother. So, P-Wing there. I don't know what it was. Oh, Stu doesn't have an extra hammer, so he's going to do this level? I thought Stu did have extra hammer. All right, so I'm gonna go back into my pipe and I should be able to finish the world now. Very nice. Right, so these are all the crazy on the fly things that you have to be thinking about when uh, when playing randomizer. It's, it's insane. I wonder what Stu is saving his hammer for because we already did world four, world six. We've already done World 2, and we've already done World 3. There's nowhere else to use a hammer. Unless he only had one hammer. Did he not finish the spade card game? He might not have finished the spade card game. Alright, Shark Kid taking the path to give you an item. I was actually considering taking this path when I took the sands. Alright. Do, do, do. 
All right, so Stu finishing up. So this world one is set up where you don't have to complete. You don't have to complete the fortress properly to continue in the level. So I already know for 100% of a fact that this first fortress is the world one fortress. Because if you guys remember, in the world one fortress, if you fly up and get the secret warp whistle, that doesn't break the lock. So if the lock was in the path and you did that, you would soft lock and randomizer doesn't allow that. So I already know, so I kind of want to... In this instance though, I want to break the lock because breaking the lock would allow me to skip the level. If I took the secret path, then I would have to do the level tile. I would very much like to clip there, but I can't. And I almost died there. That was so close to dying, man. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting to get P-Speed there. Ah, oh, Stu almost got the MFP tunnel. All right, so I'm doing a double cloud play here. Boom, and I'm out. That was sick. Wait, Stu is getting the item. Oh, he's so lucky it was a cloud. He's so lucky it was a cloud. That was not the right play. He's going to do a double cloud play too. Although this level's pretty quick. I don't know if it's necessary worth the cloud. So the reason my double cloud play is good and bad is because if you get a level like something called Atlantis, which is like an under scroll, underwater ice auto scroller. Some of you have heard of it. Some of you might not have. That is like an over, I think it's maybe 40 to like a minute and 10 seconds long. You want to save your cloud for something like that, right? But some people in randomizer hold on to their clouds for so long that they never get a use for it, which is a massive, massive waste. See, Stewie's using his clouds here. He's gonna do the double cloud. And I skipped that Hammer Brother, so I'm gonna, I get to see what this Hammer Brother is. And it was a hammer, not worth it. All right, so we are in World 8, which is a crazy maze in Randomizer. It is all over the place, it's confusing. You never know what, oh my gosh. World 8 is the best part of Randomizer because it's insane. You never know what the heck you're gonna be doing. Okay, so I do the first fortress so I can never come back to this screen again. I mean, that's the idea. <laughs> so we're in the dark area. Uh, the first order of business is in World 8 is kind of figure out where to go. You need to find where to go in World 8, right? Beat fortresses along your way as you're uncovering paths. Okay, so there's two levels in World 8. The first tank in World 8. I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but the very first level in vanilla World 8, in the original Mario 3 World 8, the first level, the tank, you fight a boomerang bro at the end and you get an item, but it doesn't break a lock. So it's a normal level. So in Randomizer, there's two tank icons. One of them is a normal level and one of them is a fortress that breaks the lock. You don't want the normal level. However, this was blocking my path. So I continued, I continued on, right? As you can see at the beginning of World 8, you already do the tank icon that was a fortress. So I already knew that that was a level, but I'm trying to figure out where to go. Right, it's, ri it's risky, but I, I needed to find where to go. So now, now I've like searched a good amount of pipe, so we're in a pretty good spot here. I need to go to the dark area. The, the hand bridge here is just pipes and locks, and you saw the beginning screen is a whole bunch of nothing. I accidentally went in the wrong pipe there. So we gotta go to the dark area. And that was in the first pipe we checked. All right. Yay, this level. So you you save a lot of time on your opponents if you enter this level with a leaf. 
having a leaf for this level because you can just fly right to the end. You don't gotta do all this crap. And it looks like Stewie got caught too. I don't know where Stewie's going though. Stewie, Stew's going for the death. I wonder if the death is faster. Huh. I wonder if the death is faster. That yeah, probably. You know what? It probably is. P switch timer. Standing around waiting. I bet I bet a death is faster, especially if you have a P-Wing. Okay, so we beat one fortress. We don't know what lock it broke, and we don't know if it built a bridge towards Bowser's castle. Okay, so there's a fortress here, which is good. So this is my third fortress. Now there is four fortresses in World 8. There's four fortresses in World 8. So there's four potential checks. All right, if you beat all three and there's still a lock in front of Bowser's castle, you gotta go back and find that fourth one. So that broke the lock for me, and that shows the icon. So I don't want to be at the icon, so I want to go back. So now I've done three fortresses. I think this is where I get slightly confused, because there's a hand stage, and there's a pipe there. And then this pipe leads to right there, and then I go back. That's right, I remember now. Very interesting. And that lock is still there. So I'm thinking to myself, where the hell am I supposed to go? And that's when I remembered I didn't do the fortress with the actual fortress icon. I frigged up. So now I gotta go find it. And guess where I didn't check? Right there. And that's where it was. So this is the last level. Right, obviously if you've done four fortresses, your only other option is to get to the end. And that, luckily, you, rem you remember the fortress, the tank icon that I did, that ended up being a normal level that Stewie's doing right now? This is mandatory. So that worked for me. That wasn't a waste of time, which is kind of nice. And that's what's crazy about Rando. That's what's crazy about this game, is that like, oh, Stu's gonna frog suit. Is frog suit faster? So now I know to go all the way back and Hey, I did it without spoiling anything. I just gave you guys what was running through my mind at that exact moment. We made it to the sacred pipe. One of the fortresses was required, right? We did one fortress to break the lock beside the other lock. The fortress we just did broke the lock to allow me to get here. And one of those fortresses I think it was the first one, yeah, okay. So the 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 fast airship fortress was not uh, was not good. We didn't need to do that one. If Stewie doesn't have a cloud. If he did, he would be ahead of me right now. The cloud would beat me. We've got hammer suit. And Bowser's castle and randomizer is just is an absolute nightmare, guys. It is an absolute nightmare. See that? You see that? Got first try clip. That's good because you want to just be up here. The roto discs are randomized. The enemies are randomized, and the fireballs in the statue room are randomized. So we want to get that clip right there. This is longer. This does take longer, but the problem is that the, 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 it's so jank in the statue room. Do, 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 do. All right, so me versus Jay Cooper, that's it. I won race one. Uh, Stewie versus Sharkid, and it looks like Stewie is going to take that win as Sharkid and Jay Cooper are not in World 8 yet. 
Now, normally in the randomizer tournament, we wait for the runners to go, but luckily this is YouTube. So once Stu finishes here, we'll be able to just go straight into the next match right away. No waiting. We just get to watch Bowser die one more time, which is awesome with the fireballs. Come on, Stu. Boom. Very nice. Stu with the fireballs and he wins his match. Now, this isn't best of three, just, just in case anyone is wondering again. All right, so I won my race. I'm a little bit relaxed um, because I did think I was behind the whole time and I did think I was losing because that death that, death that I did was absolutely awful. So uh, let's go ahead right into the next race. All right, so here we are. We had our new seed. We're ready up for race number two. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And these races are good because they determine... Ooh, right away. Okay, here we go. Uh, and these races are good because they determine what kind of base... Like, where you end up on the bracket because how fast or slow you go. You know, everyone's times are compared to one another. That's a nice start to a World 6. That World 6, right, right away to me, let me know. Okay. Um, it's pretty basic. Just get through it. And that damage I took there is same as Stu, really annoying. Makes me off to a very sad start. But we got this. Okay, so I should have actually gone down here to avoid this hammer, brother. I didn't make the right play there, but I did get a short level, so it's okay. Going for the power up here because so many things can kill you right now. All right, I'm the first one out, so I take the lead here. Very nice. So it looks like I got to fight the Hammer Brother anyways. Very unfortunate. I was worried there, but luckily I was okay. And we got him. That's good. See, so the hammer here was really nice, though, uh, because my opponents didn't fight the hammer, brother. And as you can see, using the hammer here is obviously a good idea because I'm, I'm skipping levels no matter what. Almost right at the end, there's one bridge required. And that fortress is right there. Let's go. Do, 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 yeah, so lucky for me. Uh, and what item do they get here? What does I Stu get? Oh, he gets a cloud. I don't think I get. I don't think I get that cloud. Lucky boy. Oh, he's going for the other hammer, brother. What does this? What does this hammer, brother, give? I didn't see this hammer, brother. Oh, watch it be another cloud. All right, so the trade-off was pretty good. I mean, hammer versus cloud. But I mean, I'm out. I'm out of the world. Oh, Stu's going to hammer here? He's not even going to go into that other pipe and do the... Wow, that's interesting. I wonder if he uses the hammer. But I am out of world six, so I like... That hammer play was good. I ended up losing a cloud. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Nice, very strong lead for me here. Very strong lead. So there is a fortress needed. Stu's just figuring that out. Jay Cooper's out of there. And uh, Shark Kid's gonna be out of there. Ooh, Stu getting locked by the Thwomp there. Oh, uh, the damage, unfortunate. Does he get a star though? He does. Very nice. That was a very fast World 6 from all of us. Oh, and World 7 airship is so slow. Alright, here we go. World 7. There's a lock by that 4. 
So we have to go into this pipe right away. Not much else I can do right there. And I see a fortress instantly. It's like you, you do the fortress. It's right there. Right? I mean, there's no... Of course. Of course my tail ran out at that very moment. Alright, so we beat this. So there's something interesting that I do here, I remember. So, I go for the nipper plant. Well, I go for the spade card game first. We do our normal 1-up mushroom star 10. 1-up mushroom star 10, so you gotta remember that. So I got no star. You, you, you always want to use a star for this level. It makes it much easier. I'm scared here. Don't die. Okay, luckily I didn't die. Very nice. So I do this thing. I just beat a fortress. I don't know what broke. But I know the way screen transitions work. So what I do is I go into this pipe. And I come right out of this pipe. And I can see that that, that, that fortress didn't break that lock. However... That's a smart play, but if I would have just went into the pipe, it would have taken me right here anyways. So an unneeded check, but hey, what the hell, right? I figured, you know, use an opportunity to abuse, you know, what you know about the game, I guess. All right, now we're on the next Piranha Plant stage. Nice, Stewie using the pause buffer. To not take damage, very smart move. We got a hammer and a cloud from these Piranha Plant stages. Amazing. A hammer and cloud. World six and seven is already done. That's crazy. Again, I tried to get the wall jump so I don't have to do this, this wrap around. Happy to see a fire flower there. That's really good. Very nice, big stomps. Very easy. The song slaps. Oh, Sharkid. Oh, Sharkid. I thought she took damage there. Nope. Thought she took that damage there. Nope. Oh, hey, I know this song. All right, World 4. Um, we're looking for a good World 4 here. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna keep abusing our items here. So fight this hammer, brother. See what we get. We know we have a hammer and we have a cloud. And we literally just got another freaking hammer. So I, I, I'm going for it. I'm going for it, boom. And I use the cloud, I'm out of there. Because I know a pipe will bring me back to the next pipe section. Fight the Hammer Brothers. All right, I'm gonna take a risk. Now, we got another hammer. Another hammer. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a very big risk. There's three fortresses in this level. We've seen two locks, one bridge. All right, so I use the hammer to skip a lock and then I use the cloud to skip the level and I really really want to try and take a risk here and it looks like Stewie is also gonna take that same risk very interesting I didn't know that he did that those are some big moves very nice so that unfortunately did not break the bridge that broke the lock, which means these fortresses wouldn't have broke that lock, which means if you decided to go for these fortresses, you would have had to do both of them. Because 
neither of them would have broke that lock because the one in the far distance broke the lock, right? So if you, if you said, I'm going to do this first fortress, you would have been forced to do the second fortress. So regardless, no matter what route you took, you had to do... You had to do two fortresses, no matter what. So I didn't make the wrong play, but it wasn't the best play. It was kind of a waste of items, but... Hey man, you got to go for those crazy plays. I don't know what happened to Stu there. He took a death. He decided to go back. How did he get back across up there? Oh, I'm sorry. That's Jay Cooper. Never mind. Jay Cooper's at the top. That's right. Okay. Stewie's taking the same path that I took. Taking a chance at that being the correct fortress. Big, big risk. And it is the right fortress. Let's go. So I still only did two fortresses. Not bad. Not the best routing, but we got it done. Ooh, Shark Kid getting locked on the clips. That is unfortunate. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back. I had to let I had to let the cat out of the out of the office there. All right, so finishing up the third world, the seed's looking pretty good. Uh, nobody's really like crazy far behind. Unfortunately, Shark Kid took a little bit of a, a time lap there, but not so bad. Oh, that guy got in my way. Nice, we in there. Stewie having a little bit of a slip up here, it seems. Oh, and Shark Kid just not getting those right fortresses. Me, I'm doinking around on the spade card game. I'm trying to figure out what items give me what. I don't quite know yet, but I know I'm going to do this fortress. Get this fortress out of the way. It's in my path. Nice. Yeah, dude, those roto discs, they're random. You never know what direction they're going to go in. It's crazy. Oh, Jay Cooper taking to death. Uh, Stewie is going to cloud and double hammer right away. He's going to cloud and double hammer right away without doing the fortress. And I'm going to double hammer as well. So because I did the fortress, I want to see if Stewie gets screwed over. Oh, and he does get screwed over. Wow. What a play. I didn't realize I made a really good play. Look, the lock's busted, and now I can go. Hot damn, dude. Pretty good play by MFP right there, if you ask me. And Stewie is going to cloud his way across. Not bad for Stu, that's actually pretty good. It's better than him trying to do the fortress and breaking the lock. But it's weird, he used, see, he used a cloud to play a level to get in the, to get in the pipe. Or he could have saved the cloud, taken the chance, played a level, got into the pipe. So, he's still doing one level, could have saved the cloud, but it would have been the wrong gamble. So, he did do the right play. He just didn't know that. But he wasn't taking a chance. He's like, I'm getting the hell out of this world. All right. Shark Kid's just entering now.
All right, we are off to world five. So I use a cloud here because I know as soon as I beat this level, I can go into a pipe. And it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what the fortress breaks there. Oh man, Stu is not having a good time with this. Stu is not having a good time with that. Oh, that was, that was nasty. All right, so I beat the fortress. This fortress breaks the bridge, but lucky for me, there's a pipe there. So that's why I clouded. Uh, I've gotten so many fire bro battles. Holy crap. Hey, a P-Wing's pretty nice. Oh my God, Stewie got ran over by the boss. Oh no, Stu, not again. Oh, Stu takes another death. All right, so now I gotta do the Twisty Castle. You want seeds where you don't do the Twisty Castle. I took unfortunate damage there. And Jay Cooper is honestly not that far from me. Oh, Shark Hit is gonna double hammer. Shark Hit's gonna make the same play that I did. Very good, gonna catch up to Stu. And she has more clouds than him. And Jay Cooper has passed Stu as well. That's all, that's all it was, Stu. All right, we made it through. We made it through the... Oh, God, this. All right, I tried for the clip once. I tried for the clip once. Look at it. Nintendo's first Mario Maker level. Anyone who made a Mario Maker level like this? Yeah, you weren't original. You're about 30 years late. Oh, I skipped 610. Not a bad level to skip. It's quite long. Especially with all these crappy enemies. And without P-Speed, it's pretty long. All right, I'm gonna try and finish up my spade card game. Um, so I've matched a flower, or sorry, I matched a star and that's it. I've only matched the star. And then I look at my inventory and I see that I got a cloud. So I know that stars in the spade card game are clouds. That's what stars are. So I really only, in my mind right now, that I, now that I know that in my mind, I do want to do the spade card game one more time, but I just want to find the clouds. I just want to match the star and then I don't ever want to do it again. Cause I mean, we're already on world five, right? I've already used enough clouds. It, there's no, there's no reason to go back in. I mean, that's what you want from spade card games. You want to beat a spade card game, get two clouds a hammer and be like, yeah, well, that's what's happening. So yeah, so I see that there's a cloud. So now I'm happy now that I, right now I just actually figured out that the, the cloud was there. Cause I used an item. Cloud was the last last item in my inventory, and I know it, I know it's from the spade card game because I didn't fight a hammer brother that gave me a cloud. So I decided to use that cloud because I know I can get another one. So I was like, you know what, I'm out of here. So I am curious to see what level what level this is. Right on. Now I'm on the fortress. I am on a very fast seed right now. I mean, I, I'm on the airship right now. And Shark Hit is going very fast too. All you gotta do is match those stars. There's a star match, that's a cloud. Very nice. Three clouds for Shark Kid right here. Got to do the Twisty Castle. Stu's going to go for the side pipe clip. Oh, nice try, Stu.
All right, next world is... Have we done world one yet? Nope, world one, very nice. Same situation as last run. If I don't break the lock, I'll have to do two extra levels because the lock won't break. So I don't want to go for the secret item here. Star's not bad here. It's kind of a it's kind of a whatever item. And it looks like I skipped a pretty or no, I clipped this level. That's right. Oh no, shark kid almost died. Oh, so close. So now I don't think I have any clouds left, but I am gonna p-wing. This is another level that you can do normal speedrun strategies and it works pretty well. Oh, get eaten. Sharky, you have three clouds. Oh my gosh. Just should have just used all three clouds. Would have been a big combo there. So now I'm just looking for stars and I found the star. So on my spade card game, I found my star, I got my cloud, and now I'm gonna use the cloud and my music box and combo the hell out of here. Nice. Oh no, Stewie used the cloud and then died and then spammed my emote. I didn't even see that. That's hilarious. So I skipped one, two, not the best level to skip, but I mean, you never know what you're going to skip. I mean, I could have held on to all six clouds and waited for an auto scroller, which I've never seen yet. Okay, so Shark Kid needs to find her next stars. And there they are. She's got another cloud. Spade card games take a long time though, right? Like, I don't know about how many, how like finishing how many. I wouldn't finish more than one in a run. And honestly, if, if you match your mushroom stars and flowers and you don't get anything good, like I don't even know if it's worth going back into it. For the, for the one up, the 10 and the 20. I mean, I guess it'd be easier to know. Oh, Jay Cooper with the death. So I checked the anchor there to see if it was a hammer because a hammer here would be awesome. I checked to see what I'm getting up against and unfortunately, got all these levels to do. Rip, Sag. So this seed would be crazy fast if I had one more hammer. So I think double hammer in world three compared to, you know, knowing this now wasn't the right play. Because Double Hammer in World 3 only skipped one level. Using a hammer here would skip three levels. Oh my god, that guy. Get me out of this crap. All right, and now since not having a hammer, I'm also gonna have to do another hammer brother battle. So I bumped that block because I wanted a star. Star would have helped me try and get like peace speed or something, but what I do here is just fine.
Shark Kid using up those clouds, getting a nice advantage over Stu. And that's a music box. I did not fight that hammer, brother, so that's good. And I know I don't want to go back to the spade card game. Ooh, and that's the level that I skipped with the hammer. That is a long level. Or, sorry, with the cloud. Shark Kid and I both skipped this level. That's a good level to skip. Yeah, that's a long level. Look at, look at how long it's going. So I just finished up the last level. Oh, and Stu with the death. Damn, dude. I just finished up the last level in World 2. Got my last airship, and then I got World 8. Got the... Oh, and Stu gets eaten right away. That's hilarious. Oh, and Stu gets annihilated by the pile driver enemy. Stu is having a bad time right now. Oh, all right. He's got a star. That's good. Star is good. All right, World 8. So the first thing that I see in World 8, boom, nice and linear. Let's go. Get rid of this fortress to potentially never come back to this screen. It's a scam. Now, does Shark Kid have a hammer here to skip all these levels? That would be pretty clutch. She does have a hammer and a cloud. Yeah, cloud. Cloud Shark Kid, yes. Very nice. Big time save. Oh, man, Jay Cooper. Running risks here. Okay, so now that I know that that lock is there, this world is very linear so far. And that's exactly what I want to see on a fast seed like this. Like super duper linear. Right? Oh, get where I wonder what I have to do, right? All I have to do is this fortress and then go back to that lock. Like this, there's only one direction right now, which is pretty good. That cloud, that, that piranha plant was bait, man. What the heck was that crap? All right, I have items, so... Or no, actually, I don't have items, so it's a bad idea for me to be damage boosting. I need to save my items. That was actually the right play, I think. Gee, I wonder where to go. I like, I legit just follow the path. And I've already seen tiles in one and two, and I know I don't need to cross the hand bridge to the right side. So it's pipe checking time. All right, so there's just four pipes right there. There's no, nothing else. Okay, there's another pipe. Oh, cross the handbridge. What a risk. What a risk. And there it is. That was it, man. Like, what a joke. We did two fortresses, and then the third fortress was here. So one of the fortresses was not required. Doo, 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 doo. I wonder if Jay Cooper has a hammer. All right, now all we have left is Bowser's Castle. And I have a Fire Flower for Bowser's Castle.
So just a reminder to everyone, not all not all of my races are gonna be in a four setting like this. And after I'm done my group matches, which I'll post all on YouTube, we'll do commentary, it'll be a great time, we'll have a love party. Um, after that, it, it becomes a best of three where you become eliminated. So that's when it gets spicy. Oh, clip first try. You can't even cross right here either. There's two locks. Right? You're like forced to go in that direction. It's crazy. All right, Bowser. Get wrecked, Bowser. Right on, and a sub 30 minute seed, which is pretty good. Nice, Shark Kid got good RNG. She is right on her way. Nice, I got like a 29.55, not bad. 29.55, but uh, so yeah, that's gonna conclude these uh, matchups. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. It's really important that you guys let me know how much you enjoy this because I do have to sit back and rewatch this. It does take a couple hours of my time, so. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys are happy with it this way. Listen to music. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys feel. And uh, I am going to post my next race on YouTube as well. So you guys can keep up with the tournament. Stay in tune. Watch my Twitch stream, Mitch Flower Power. Always watch at World Wreck Attempts. Take it easy, everyone. Whee!